in the one room, people watching motorcycles in the other room, people watching some sort of medical documentary. <laughs> And I'm stuck in the middle trying to record a video, which you don't want to watch anyway. I'm going to do it anyway, so people know my struggle. It's hard enough living a life in a house full of people who don't know what earphones or headphones or earbuds are. But it's even harder when you have to see what I see every single day. Because ever since I lost one of my cameras a few months ago, and then I found it, thankfully, miraculously, I have decided to clear off the SD card every morning. That way, I do not lose any of those silly, nonsensical videos that I take just of fog. But as a consequence of recording so many little videos and clearing them off, I have to look at the folder which I stick the videos in every single day. You know, I make a new folder every couple days for videos depending on what events have happened. Like here, you're going to see how I organize my videos now. So here's how it looks. I have a folder for every single event, if you could call it that. Like here, I have a standalone folder for the Hickory Train Show. And over here is just a open folder with, you know, a few days where nothing particularly important happens. And as you can see, I have a lot of my teeth, but that's not the disturbing thing. What I typically do is I copy the pictures into one of these organized folders, and then I cut and paste them into a folder on this hard drive, just called 2020. And it's unorganized. It's every video and every picture in alphabetical and numerical order. And here's an example of what that is like. I take, let's just, let's re-enter this folder real quick. 2020, there it is, at the top. There's all my folders. Cut. Paste in the 2020 folder. And because I have three different cameras and they all overlap, usually gotta keep all these files but then after it clears off instead of going to the correct spot alphabetically or numerically whatever you'd want to call it like this the files that I'm moving are movie zero MVI zero one zero four should be fairly high up but no I say no instead of staying at the top it goes all the way to the bottom. Now a long time ago I took a stupid video of a foamer. But I was not the foamer in the stupid video. I took a video of another foamer. And it was just for the sake of having a video, having a picture of it. But I decided to take a picture and a video for no particular reason. Now I didn't know that that image would haunt me forever. You see, every time I clear off an SD card, whether it's my gimbal, whether it's this camera, whether it's one of the GoPros, it always goes to the bottom, and every time I have to look at this picture just staring at me from inside the hole. And it disturbs me. It just stares at me endlessly, torturing me judging me. And that's what I look at every morning to wake up. I just happen to clear off my cards every morning usually. But and that's why I'm as disturbed as I am. I hope he's alright with me using his image. But I wanted to express this while it was still fresh in my memory because I have just ordered a new hard drive. So I won't have to look at that picture anymore. Mm -hmm. There's also other images in here which haunt me too, but that's the one that haunts me the most. Was that worth loading on YouTube, that story?
thing, now I can go back to watching something decent. But since I ain't gonna do that, I'm gonna watch Delay and Block Productions. Skipped his ad. <laughs> I feel so rebellious.